BC Labs. I'm so excited that you can join us, even if it's just virtually for now, from the comfort of your own home. Now, we're still settling down here at our new lab and unpacking, but I'm so excited to have you visiting, and I'm so excited to let you know that your favorite scientist and my favorite scientist, Dr. Milagro, is here working at our labs. I'm talking about Dr. Milagro, he should be back any minute from his lunch break. I think he was checking out the new cafeteria. Hey, Dr. Rouge! Dr. Oh, Rouge! Hey, Dr. Milagro, how are you? Oh, I'm doing well. I'm sorry I'm late. It's okay. How was lunch? Oh, lunch was delicious. HBC Labs has the best cafeteria. Oh, man. I can't wait to try it. I haven't had a chance to go down there. Oh, you got to try the chili. Oh. Oh, it was great. Did you have that for lunch? Yes. Of course, it's my favorite dish. With beans? Well, they did have a lot of beans, but I promise I only had a little bit of beans. So you should be good. Well, I hope so. But anyways, Dr. Milagro, remember how we were talking about creating virtual visitors for the lab right now, given that we can't really have any um, live guests? Ah, uh, yes. And actually, I'm still working on that invention. I think in about a week, I should invent it. Okay, Dr. Milagro, don't worry. It's already been invented. So don't worry about it because our friends are here right now. Say hello. Where? Right, oh. right there. Oh, that, that contraption right there? Yeah. Hey, kids. Oh, wow, so they can see me. Well, that's much smaller than the device I was inventing. I know, Dr. Milaro. Don't worry. I know your time will come where you'll come up with some wonderful invention. But for now, let's just focus on our visitors. Oh, sure. Well, friends, so we're so excited that you can visit us here virtually because, you know, we haven't been able to open up the lab to have guests during this pandemic. But, you know, Dr. Milagro and I have been discovering that while we're stuck at home or limited schedules here at work, we have had plenty of time to dive deep into the Word of God and do our favorite thing, which is science experiments. Oh, those are my two favorite things, digging into the word and science. I know, I know, Dr. Milagro. Hold your horses. Well, those are our favorite things, and that's how we've been spending our time, but we decided that in order to invite you virtually, we decided to do a little Q&A. We know that a lot of our friends, a lot of our kid friends are wondering about what's going on, or they might have questions about the Bible or about science. And we decided that we could answer them, right? Oh, I love Q&As, Dr. Rouge. I know. I know you do. So, let me check. I think we have a couple of things here. Oh, yes. Here's our first question. Do you have your theology hat on and your science hat? Uh, Dr. Milagro here to answer all your questions. All right. So, here we go. Here's your first one. So, our first question comes from a little boy. His name is Samson. Samson. Oh, I love that name. Strong name. Yeah, he's strong and he's smart because he sent you a two-for-one question. Now, he's six years old, and he's wondering, Dr. Milagro, where did the coronavirus come from, and where did illnesses in general come from? Like, where did they come from anyways? Wow. Those are great questions, Samson. It's a great question. Well, since Samson asks in a two-part fashion, I shall answer in the same way, in two parts. So, Samson, first, the coronavirus. You will be surprised to know, Samson, that the coronavirus has existed for a long time. There are many different types of coronaviruses. There are? It's kind of, sort of, like the flu. Oh, okay, yeah. So, you know the flu, you know, every year there's a different strain and you get a new vaccine. Well, in the same way, coronaviruses, there are many different types. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, but it's a very serious disease. And in fact, you might have heard of it by the name of COVID-19. Yeah, we've heard of that one. Yes, if you've seen the news, that's all they're talking about is COVID-19. So what is this 19? So the 19 simply is, Samson, that this was the coronavirus strain in the year 2019. Oh, that makes sense. COVID-19, yeah. Yes, but now, he also asked about where the diseases come from. Yeah. That's an excellent question. And you know, it kind of gets me all excited and reminds me of our time lab, yes, a while back. Oh, Dr. Miller, hold your horses, because we're not time traveling. 
Oh, no, well, definitely out of the question. No travels right now. Well, Dr. Rude, that really wasn't planning on traveling literally back in time. Oh, okay. What is very important, Samson, and all the kids listening, that we do go all the way back to the historical record of the biblical account. And I'm talking about creation. That is a long time ago, Dr. Milagro. Very long. So, here's the deal. When God the Father created our very first ancestors, Adam and Eve, He created them perfect, and they were in a perfect world. A world with lush greenery, many fruits and vegetables, lots of animals. In fact, many animals that we know today to eat meat, like lions and tigers and bears. Oh, that, my. Oh, yes, you would say. <laughs> Well, in that time, since it was a perfect world, there was no violence and there was no death. So they weren't eating meat. Wow, Dr. Milagro, that sounds like that would be so much fun to be able to play with all the cool wild animals without being afraid of getting eaten. Well, it was an excellent time. Imagine a perfect world. But something changed. A uh, three-letter word entered into the arena and the trajectory of humanity changed forever. Three-letter word? Like cat? Uh, cat is a three-letter word, and I love cats, but no, no we're not okay, that. Okay, okay. Mm. It's a word that starts with the letter S, like Samson. The sun! That was at the beginning of creation? Well, yes, the sun was there, but no, uh, the sun is a star, and we like the sun. We're talking about oh, the word bad. sin. Oh, sin, yeah, that's... Yes. Really bad. So you see, kids, when Adam and Eve disobeyed God and ate of the fruit, sin entered the world. And along with it came all types of diseases, including things like the coronavirus and even death. You know, we can go to the Holy Scriptures. Actually, the first book of the Bible, named Genesis, in chapter 2, verses 16 and 17 says... And the Lord God commanded man, saying, You may surely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in that day you eat of it, you shall surely die. die. So that is what happened, and that is where disease and all these things like coronavirus come from. It's a very gloomy situation. Yeah, Dr. Milagro, you just gave me, like, horrible, terrible, no good, very bad day news. So tell me that despite this horrible news about sin and disobedience and all these different viruses that are the result of sin, tell me that there's good news. Oh, Dr. Rouge and all the kids that know me, you know I always come with good news. Well... Despite the fact that our ancestors, Adam and Eve, sinned and brought sickness and death into the world, God the Father, in His infinite love and wisdom, created another path for us to have life eternal. I know what you're talking about. And kids, I'm not talking about physical life, because by virtue of Adam's sin, we all must die. That's an unfortunate truth. Yet, God the Father has allowed a way for us to live eternally with Him. And you know how He did this? Mm -hmm. By allowing His Son, who's known as the second Adam, to come into this world. In fact, Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son for who... Whoever. Whoever, not some people, for whoever believes in Him shall not perish. perish. And you know what perish means? Yeah, to die. To die. So kids out there, perish means die. But whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have, have eternal, eternal life. life. That is the good news. Dr. Milagro, you started off really bad. Sin, disobedience, disease, it was horrible. But I'm so glad that you're finishing on a high note with the good news of Jesus. That is amazing. Amen. How glorious it is. And I'm so thankful that we can have hope in Jesus. Amen.
Well, this is exciting. I love Q&As. <laughs> well, friends, I hope, Samson, that we answered your question and that you're feeling a little bit better and a little more knowledgeable on all things science and all things God. Now, that's it for now. So this is Dr. Rouge and... Dr. Milagro! From HBC Labs. Can't wait till the next time. Don't forget, you can email us your questions and we can't wait to answer them and we hope to get to all of them. Until next time, bye! Bye-bye!